Hi, I'm Mickey Lawler and I'm an instructor with iQuilt. I have just finished painting um, one of the techniques that I would show you in the iQuilt um, class that I teach. And I'm also going to embellish this particular painting with a little more uh, paint on the fabric. This is known as overpainting. Once the fabric is dry and um, the paint is dry, the uh, paint, the fabric can be overpainted with another color if you want a little more complexity to the fabric. I'm going to dampen the fabric a little bit. I have this wonderful sprayer that's just a pump sprayer. So all I have to do is depress my finger on this and it makes it a lot easier. Uh, the paints that I'm using are transparent paints. So you won't be able to cover up what's underneath with these paints or I won't be able to cover up what's underneath with these paints. And that's the, that's the whole idea. I want to add another color to these oranges and yellows and reds, and I've decided on blue. We're going to see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have a pretty good idea that it's going to turn into purples and greens, uh, but let's give it a try. And, ooh, and I'm not going to paint the whole piece this new color. I'm just going to do a little bit of an area. You can see that these look like leaves. We've manipulated the fabric. And then I've decided to add a little more complexity. Now, this paint will dry lighter than what you see it right now. So I'm not too worried that it's going to be too dark. So I'm going to do half of this fabric in my new color to give it just that interesting uh, difference. You may see a little bit of gold in here. And yes, I've used some gold pearl paint in the original piece, and that's going to shine right through, even with this overpainting. So here we have two pieces of fabric for the price of one. <laughs> and uh, what could be better? I mean, I'm going to be able to use this in, in a quilt, but I can also tie it in with this because they're going to have some kinds of similar relationships with one another. So what's in here is not entirely different from what's over here. Look at how much this has changed. For more great tips like this and to see how you could paint fabric for landscape uh, quilts particularly, uh, please join me in my class on iQuilt.